In this tutorial in CyberLink Color Director, we're going to take a look at the presets that are built into the program. We're also going to show you the difference between the presets in Color Director and those in PowerDirector 15 or the new version PowerDirector 16. So let's get to it. What I'd like to do is I'd like to take this video here and do some adjustment in color to it. So I'll click on it once and then I can go ahead and play it if I wish. But I can't edit it until I take it and drag it to my storyboard. Now one nice thing about the storyboard is I can make it disappear if I want more real estate or reappear. And I'd use the control up here next to the fit, next to my screen size. And with the, the one with the three dots has a storyboard. The one next to it uh, temporarily makes the storyboard go away. Again, all you have to do is click on the other button to return to the storyboard view. I see myself using this quite a bit. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with adjusting this image using the presets that are built into Color Director. I'll click on the Adjustment button in the center below the main window. And when I do this, I find that I have two major tabs, a Manual tab, we'll get to later, and then my Preset tab. And there are three categories of presets. There are Default, Downloaded, and My Created presets. Well, I click on my created, and right now it's empty. I have not made any. This is basically presets that you have taken a default preset and, and tweaked and designed yourself. And I'll show you just a, a bit about that before the lesson's over. There are some downloaded presets. Some come with PowerDirector. You can get more from DirectorZone. And then there are a set of default presets. Now, this, these are the ones we're going to work on. Now there's two ways to see what the preset will do to your video. One is you simply hover over the name and in the window at the top, it will give you a preview of what it looks like. Because it's hard to see on this uh, recorded screen, I'm going to actually click on it. Now one thing you need to know is you can't apply more than one preset at a time in this list. So every time I click on one, it will uh, remove the preset of the previous click and replace it with all the features that are built into that one. So let's try the first one, 60s Home Movie. I click on that. That one is found in both PowerDirector 15 and 16. If I go to 70s Flick, that's also in both versions of PowerDirector. 80s Fab, again, that's the same as PowerDirector. Arctic Blue, again, in both versions. Bright Life, in both versions. Brown Highlights, in both. Color Pop, in both. Cozy Room is only in Color Director. Dark Days is in both versions of PowerDirector. Dreamy, as well. Golden Sun is unique to Color Director. Grainy Film is bundled with both versions of Power Director. And so is In a Dream. Moody is only in Color Director. Oil Painting is only in Color Director. Red Dawn is in both versions of Power Director, 15 and 16 as is Red Planet. Sci-Fi is only in Color Director. Silent Era is in both versions of Power Director, as is Sunny Day, as is Sunset, as is Tangerine Dream, as is Tech Noir, as is True Blue, as is Washout. So I'll go back to uh, the color pop one for now. Now, once you have set uh, your image to look like one of these, you have the opportunity to go ahead and, and undo it by clicking the button up here, the left facing arrow that will undo it. But right now I'm going to click color pop on and then I'm going to go into the manual mode. 
but I'd like to show you, we'll click on the saturation area, for example. This will give you exactly, you can see all the uh, uh, things that they have done to get to this point. If you want to turn every one of these submenus on, you can see exactly what they did. In this case, the red is turned up to 100. Watch what happens when I drag it back. Okay, I can turn it to a neutral or I can turn it to a negative. So you can override um, your preset. So if you like something, you say a preset is close to what I want, but not exactly. You can apply the preset to your video, go into the manual mode, and go ahead and begin to play with the other features. Or you can simply learn from it to say, hmm, this is what they did here. Uh, and you learn a little bit about how the preset was built. And so that gives you some examples of, uh, of, of how to begin to think through uh, the, all the, um, uh, the components that are built into a preset. Here we have some contrast, brightness, midtone, dark, darkest, tinge, clarity, vibrance. All these are built into that preset, but they are all things that you can change if you want to. So that gives you the option of adding to a preset. And again, on each of these, once you've made adjustments, you can undo them. And I'll turn back to the original values. And here we have the all the original values in the tone. Um, and if I want to go back and make sure I've got the actual preset, I'll click back here. And now it popped back. Uh, so you can do, undo, and redo the preset by going into manual mode. We're going to cover more about uh, the manual mode as we move forward, but this is just a look at how you can get started by using one of the presets uh, to get closer to the look that you want in your finished project. Mm -hmm.